Hello, Gems, and welcome back to Gems Life Live with another video, and we're going to get into some things. Okay, okay. Today we're getting into King Von and Asian Doll. So King Von recently just released his new album, Rest in Peace King Von, and it's actually called What It Means to Be King. So a lot of speculation was wondering why Asian Doll wasn't on the album and everyone's been clowning her and being like, oh, you must have not been that important. You're not on the album. But what people fail to re realize is that without Asian Doll, King Von would actually not be as successful in his career that he was before he died. Now, let's just dial it back a little bit. I've actually been following um, the OTF and Chicago scene since like 2012. And I actually do have a song with Ide. Rest in peace, Ide. Um, but what I'm going to say is no matter if Lil Durk pushed King Von because he hadn't really pushed him to the forefront at that time. And Asian Doll was actually more putting him in her videos all over social media. Like their relationship was very much public. And if you don't remember, Asian Doll was actually way bigger than King Von at that time. For sure. She had just uh, came off of tour with that bad Barbie um, catch me outside girl if you don't know who I'm talking about. And she's been doing her thing. Her and Cuban Doll used to be best friends, so they both came out on the scene. Even though Cash Doll is the original doll, my thing is I always watched Asian Doll, you know? And then she also was signed to Gucci Mane at one point, 1017. She did actually get out of that contract and is now, I believe, independent. So she has done very well for herself. And... Lil Durk hadn't actually quite, I think he was just working out his contract with Def Jam at the time. He was there for five years. He wasn't able to put out music. So he wanted to wait till he got out of that, I believe. And he was pushing King Von before they got that case. And then they weren't allowed to be around each other. But King Von hadn't really come out and broke out yet. And Asian Doll was very instrumental in his coming out. If you go back and look at some of her old videos, she put King Von all in the videos. Then he put her in his videos when he started getting bigger. So people need to really slow their roll when they're dissing Asian Doll. Because if you haven't been following their relationship from the beginning, you wouldn't really know. Like, he's always has ha, has had a thing with his baby mama, Kima, but Asian Doll and him were very much in love. Like, it was a thing. Uh, I believe she did actually abort two of uh, his kids, so she made the choice not to have his children. So he, sh she would have even had his children had not she made that choice. So they were very close. And a lot of the stuff that happened um, leading up to his demise, I, he even admitted he was doing to piss Asian Doll off. He was dating Jana and dating all these girls. And we know that he was out cheating because now in his death, he's had children. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. And Asian Doll wasn't having it. She actually regrets not talking to him for two weeks before he died, but she was on a silence uh, block thing with him because I don't know if you remember, but three weeks, I think a month or three weeks before he passed, he actually had a show in Dallas, Texas, which is Asian Doll's hometown. And he actually hired her. Like he booked her to open the show for him, paid her and everything. I mean, does that sound like somebody that doesn't want you to get your attention? Like, mm, I don't know. It's kind of giving off Kanye vibes. She's not talking to him and he books her for a show. Now, Asian Doll always will have love for King Von. The reason she wasn't talking to him is because she was so hurt by the things he was doing. Even after that show, he still was feeling himself because they did obviously hook up that night. He took a picture of her in the morning beside him and then still and then wrote still single. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, no wonder she wasn't talking to you like you're just feeling yourself. So that's when he was really getting on and he just, you know, had a big head. He was total big head. You know what I'm saying? 
But the thing about it is, is people are totally discrediting her, discrediting her for the reason why she calls herself King Vaughn and da 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 da. It's because they were that close. And without Asian Doll, I don't care if Dirk, Lil Dirk was pushing him at all. Without Asian Doll and their relationship, King Vaughn would have not been as liked by the public as he was and as popular. And that's just what it is. You can go back and look at receipts. You can go back and look at videos, but I'm standing on that and I watched it from the beginning. So, and I've also watched the Chicago scene from the beginning as well. So I just want to tell you guys that you should take it easy on Asian doll. All the blogs need to chill out because you don't know. And what you don't know, you shouldn't discuss upon. And I'm actually proud of Asian doll for not coming on line and venting because it just makes her look more nuts, but she's actually telling the truth. Her feelings are valid. And no matter what anybody says, she still hasn't grieved properly. Imagine being in the public eye, your ex-boyfriend dies, you're in a fight with him. Then you have all this NBA young boy, Quando Rondo, Gianna, like it's all a mess. It's just a mess. And King Von did it basically to himself because he was trying to get back at Asian Doll and to get under NBA Youngboy's skin. So it led to his demise. I am very sad about it. He's one of my favorite rappers from Chicago. And like, let's be honest, Lil Durk really got his push off of the energy of King Von's death. I mean, nobody was really checking for Lil Durk like that. I mean, he did have that song with Drake. But other than that, when King Von was out, people were checking for King Von. He was going to be the next superstar. And now that he has passed, Lil Durk has been able to use that to his advantage. And he's now replaced his protege. So anyway, that is my take on it. I just want you guys to tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Please subscribe, share the video, and also just take a minute. And if you've ever said anything rude on Twitter to Asian Doll, maybe just go give her a little heart or a happy face. Okay, guys, and I'm going to see you at the next video. Bye for now.